After going 7-4 last season and placing 4th in the Lakes Valley Conference, the Wildlife Western Varsity football team was ready to come back with vengeance for the 2022 season. The boys named this season the Revenge Tour with the intent to beat the teams they lost to last year and boy did they succeed. Today we will meet with six of the senior athletes and their head coach, talk more about the Revenge Tour and if football is in their future after high school. So I'm now here with Morgan Martinez. Do you want to introduce yourself a little bit? Um, Morgan Martinez, uh, senior, you know, <laughs> offensive lineman, defensive lineman. Perfect. Okay, so um, you are a 2022 team captain. How does that make you feel, your teammates uh, actually voting for you to be captain? Yeah, um, it, feel, it felt really good, you know, um, to know that my teammates see me as a captain, you know, uh, as a leader. And... It just put a new responsibility on my hands, you know, to yeah. lead the team and just be an upstander. Yeah. So with that, how did you motivate yourself and also the team? Um, personally for myself, I like to just reflect on how I did in previous seasons or games and, um, you know, just see where I can improve on from there. And then, of course, with my teammates, just, you know, uplifting them, making sure, you know, they know what they're doing. They're in the right place all the time. Did you have any personal goals this season? Um... Honestly, my big goal was just to be better than I was last season. Just always being, you know, one step better, you know, two yeah. steps forward, one step back, but just keep getting better every day. Yeah, definitely. So what's the team's chemistry like? It's great. Um, last year, it was a little bit spotty, you know. Yeah. Uh, some people just wouldn't get along, but this year, honestly, I don't think anybody has any problems. Um, we all get along really well. We uh, play together like a team, you know. So we do pretty good together. Yeah. So what would you say your favorite play that you guys ran this season was? Um, <laughs> probably kick X. We just ran, we ran power a lot. Um, just smash mouth football. Just to see who, who's, who wants it more. Did those plays lead you guys to specific wins? Oh, yeah. We ran that probably the majority. That was probably our biggest play all year. Um, we ran that the most, and it definitely hit the hardest for us. You know, Darius running the ball. Um, us blocking, it just, you know, we want yeah. more every time. Did you guys have any stats that you wanted to talk about? Um, our rushing numbers really stood out. You know, uh, Darius having over 2,300 yards. You know, he's a great running back, but, you know, our O-line and fullbacks and t uh, tight ends really work for that too. That's To me, that's more of a team accomplishment. Mm -hmm. You know, we, we all contributed. We all blocked our butts off. and Yeah, you guys stuck that. together, yeah. yeah. Is football in your future? Yep. Um, planning on playing in college. Uh, you know, I mean, I was a little bit iffy at first, uh, not too long ago. Last year, I didn't know if I wanted to play it, but it's definitely something that's going to be in my future for a while. Do you have offers? Do you have any colleges standing out to you right now? Yep. Um, I have three offers right now. Uh, obviously looking for more. Mm -hmm. Hopefully more real long uh, in the off season in the winter. Um, but, yeah. Yeah? Yep. All right. Thank you. Okay, so now I'm here with Michael Bailey. So um, you're 2022 team captain. What do you have to say about that? I mean, that's pretty cool. I mean, I came in a couple weeks before I got nominated for captain, and that was a, I mean, I was, didn't expect to be uh, nominated for that, and I'm very honored by my teammates and other peers. Yeah, so coming in, what was the transfer process like that for you? Uh, it was pretty welcoming. I had a lot of coaches and players who were very, uh, kind and went out of their way to connect with me and uh, relate to me. Yeah, so with you getting welcomed, how would you say the coaching staff like adapted to you coming in a new player this uh, far into the summer season? Uh, it was a lot, of, uh, a lot of hard work knowing the playbook and knowing where to be, uh, but overall it was very easy. They were, uh, they were patient with me and allowed me to catch up the one I needed to. So how would you fit in with your teammates, especially? I know on the field it can be different atmosphere than when you're around with them just as friends. How would that work on the field? Like I said, they were very supportive uh, and welcoming. They allowed me to be, be myself around them, and I feel very at home around them. Yeah, definitely. So what, did you have any goals for yourself this season, coming to Western, transferring over? Was there anything 
specific that you had in mind that you wanted to accomplish? Mostly just to be a leader and win football games. I didn't win many in my last school and it was to lead a team of young players and have someone to look up to. Yeah. How do you manage your time, especially with school in session now and having a crazy football schedule? How would you do that? Uh, a lot of early mornings and late days after school and getting homework done after school and if I had time occasionally play Xbox. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> um, is football in your future after high school? Yeah, I plan to go play football in college. I'm not sure where yet. That's. Uh, uh, the interest and stuff will usually fall in a couple in a couple weeks from now, so I'm yeah. just waiting. Do you have any offers? Any any place you're looking into? I have uh, Division three offers and then Division two interest on where to go. So it's just a waiting game right now. Yeah, nice. Okay. Well, thank you. Thank you. So now we're here with Joey Rochelle. Do you want to kind of introduce yourself? Uh, hi, I'm Joey Rochelle. Uh, I'm a two-year starter for the varsity football team, senior. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so what would, what would you say the biz, biggest competition was this past season? Um, I think going into it, it was probably South Line the first game of the season. They beat us last year. Um, we knew they were, like, they won the LVC last year. They knew, we knew coming into the year they were going to be good competition. And I think beating them at the start of the year really uh, made us ha be a good team and started off our season really strong. Yeah. So what were any goals you accomplished this season? Were there any? Um, I think I didn't really do many um, uh, individual goals. I think by a team, though, we won the LVC, which was huge. We won the city cha championship, which was also big. Um, I think this year we just played as a team, and um, it was just a much improved season than last year. Yeah. So we saw you play QB a couple times this season. What would you say about that? Um, I mean, my freshman year, coach kind of just threw me in um, at a couple practices, and I guess it kind of stuck. And I've been kind of just a backup quarterback for a couple years. And I always uh, um, annoy coach about it and ask him to put me in. And I got in, and, you know, the rest yeah. is history, yeah. So is football in your future after high school? Um, I'm still looking into it. Um, it's an option at a smaller college, but I don't know what I'm going to do yet. Yeah, got it. Anything else you want to talk about? Any stats? Anything impressive come out this season? I mean, I just think we had a great year all in all as a team, and I was happy to be a part of it. Yeah, awesome. Sweet. Thank you. All right, so now I'm here with Skylar Garmo. You want to introduce yourself? Uh, I'm Scott Garmo. I play center here. I'm a two-year starter, captain this year. Yeah. yeah. So I heard you were voted number one captain by your teammates. How does that make you feel? I mean, it's, a, it's an honor. You know, these guys, they vote for us. They voted for me, the number one captain. It's an honor. Yeah, yeah definitely. So getting into the season, what would you say at the beginning of the season, what game you were most looking forward to? That Davison game. It was circled yeah. on all our schedules. That's what I wanted to get to. Yeah. I mean, Bally Sports being there, too, that yeah. must have been huge. Yep, yep. Didn't go out how we wanted to, but... Right. I was looking forward to it at least, you know? Yeah, definitely. Were your family members watching? Was a lot of friends watching? I had people from my work come in. I had my family watching on TV. I had a lot of people there, actually. Yeah, yeah. definitely. It was a good experience. So what would you say the easiest game was this season? I'm going to say Waterford Kettering. You know, the guy I was blocking was not that good of an athlete. But, mm -hmm. yeah, I would say Waterford Kettering. So what was your favorite play you guys ran this year? There's one play in particular. It's called Uno Fold. Essentially, I'm one on one against the guy across from me, mm -hmm. and then our guys are blocking out and folding around to get the linebackers. And then our running back, Darius Taylor, slips through and gets a touchdown almost every yeah. time. That was a great play. How many times did you guys run it? Probably multiple times this season. I would give us at least 30 times we ran it this season. Yeah, yeah it was a successful play, so we ran it a couple That's times. A lot, yeah. Yep, yep. But it, it was worth it, wasn't it? 100 percent, it was. Yep, yep. Yeah. What was your favorite moment this season? So our head coach, uh, Coach Roach, had all the seniors out to his lake and his family lake house. We had a great time. We got us Captain Jay's chicken, some great chicken. We went on the boat, we kayaked a little bit. It was a great time. The seniors yeah. bonding in the middle of the summer after our hard work, it was a great time, yeah. So is this a tradition that is now in Yeah, so it was a tradition back at Farmington where he used to coach, and he brought it back to Wall Lake Western. That's awesome, yep, that's yep. great. Mm -hmm. All right, well thank you. Yep. So now we're here with Drew Viotto, the starting quarterback. Can I introduce yourself? I'm Drew Viotto, starting quarterback at Wadley Western. Yeah. Okay, so how do you keep yourself and the team motivated? Um, 
just using the motivation from last year, the loss in the playoffs, and um, just setting goals before the season and just trying to achieve those goals every week. Yeah. So you're uh, this year's team captain. You're one of the few. How would you say that that felt for you to have that accomplishment? You know, it was an honor to be voted by my uh, teammates and peers as team captain. And, um, you know, I just felt like I fit the role the best. And um, it was truly an honor. Yeah. So what would you say your improvements were from this season to last season? Um, I definitely got more comfortable out there. Um, last year was my first year starting on varsity. So it was definitely a learning curve last year. But this year it felt great to be out there. And um, I just felt better playing this year. Yeah are the number one QB and football player in Canada. How does that feel? What does that mean from your hometown? Um, yeah, it's exciting. It's an honor to be the number one player in Canada. Um, you know, it's really grateful to represent my country like that. Yeah. So you are going to Minnesota. What are you looking forward to when you go? Um, you know, I'm just super excited to play Big Ten football um, at a school like the University of Minnesota uh, with Coach Fleck. You know, he's a great coach, and uh, I just can't wait to get there. So what was your favorite moment from this past season? Uh, easily beating South Lion week one. Um, I hadn't beat him in high school, and that was my first time beating him. So it was super exciting, and um, yeah, it was just a great moment. Yeah, definitely. What was your favorite play that was implemented this season? Favorite play that was implemented? Hmm. It was probably this one play that we already had in. Um, it was like uh, I threw a, a, a lot of touchdowns on it to uh, Daryl. Um, it was a play action pass. And he would run like he was going to block the safety mm -hmm. and then run down the middle of the field. And he was wide open all the time. Yeah. So it just made it easy for me just to so throw it to him. So did you guys run that a bunch of times? Like, definitely. I had, like, 16 touchdowns this year and, like, easily half of them were on that play. Yeah, so then it was that play was definitely a yeah. big one for you guys. Mm -hmm. So who would you say your favorite coach on the coaching staff is? Easily Coach Auger. Um, he's just a fun guy, and he would give me signals for the plays. So I'm going to miss him signaling for me. Yeah. Um, but he was just a guy you could always just go up to and say, Auger. <laughs> <laughs> what about favorite player? Favorite My favorite, teammate? Favorite teammate? Yeah. Nathan Fetch. Yeah. Um, you know, he does a lot for the team. He doesn't get as much recognition as he should. Um, he likes to run through people's face masks, and he's hilarious. So. <laughs> was there good chemistry on the field with that, too? Yeah. Yeah. Um, he used to say things before the snap that I can't repeat in this interview, but um, they were funny, and I would laugh when I was saying, like, down said hut, and I would be giggling, and, um, yeah, he's just a fun guy to be around. That's awesome. All right, so I'm now here with Darius Taylor. So um, what was the motivation for you, like, for you this season? Uh, the biggest motivation this year was our team. We put, we came together and had a thing called the Revenge Tour, and uh, that was just our biggest goal to beat everybody that beat us last year. So I mean, we got that done, but we fell short in the playoffs. Yeah. Do you want to explain the Revenge Tour a little bit more? I mean, like I said, our biggest goal was just to beat everybody we lost to, um, treat every game like a championship game, and I mean, we stuck to it the whole year. Yeah. So what's the team chemistry like? Um, it was actually really good. Um, it was way better than last year. This year, everyone liked each other. We didn't really have any problems in practice or people that like gave each other problems in the locker room or anything like that. So it was pretty good. Did you guys have a lot of underclassmen move up this year from last year, or? I mean, we had a lot of underclassmen like coming up. Like last year, we had a lot of juniors, and this year, I mean, a few of them left, but we had a pretty good senior class this year. And then we brought up a few guys from the JV level that actually contributed to a few wins this year. So. That's awesome. So how do you like the coaching staff here at Willick Western? Uh, I love the coaching staff. Coach Roach, that's my boy. Uh, Coach Dooley, you know, he's been here since my freshman year. Coach Roach just came in two years ago, or a year ago. For yeah. Us, like, two seasons. Would you say that he's changed the program than it was before? Oh, yeah, he's made some big changes. I mean, he changed my life in, in particular. Uh, he changed me from receiver to running back. And, uh, I mean, I broke every record here, and, I mean, I'm just going strong. Yeah. So you have over 30 offers, college offers, and you stuck with Minnesota. How would you say that worked for you? How did Minnesota take over all those 30 other offers? I mean, Minnesota just felt like home when I went there the first time. Um, all the coaches, um, all the fans, just the people, the support staff there, everybody was really welcoming, and it really felt genuine. I mean, everyone, every school is welcoming when you come there, but it really felt genuine at Minnesota, and I really loved it. All right, so we're here with the whole group now. Everyone wants to know what is Revenge Tour and how did it get started? So the Revenge Tour started, I tweeted it out. 
And then basically for my senior season, I wanted to get revenge on all the teams that beat us, like Milford, hate them, South Lion, don't like them either. Yeah. And Mott, we beat them by a lot this year, so it was a good year, and we got revenge on the teams that beat us. So everyone just kind of took it on and was like, this is this is our revenge tour. Like, this is happening. Like, mm-hmm. yeah. 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 Yeah, I kind of just followed my lead on it, and then more guys started talking about it, and never did it. So what were the biggest uh, differences or improvements from this season to last season? Ooh, I got this one. Go ahead. We actually like each other this year. Yeah. <laughs> These are my boys. That's true. We actually like each other this year. Yeah, so that adds more chemistry on the field, yeah, yeah, too, right. so it helps out. What do you guys like about the football environment here at Western? Uh, student section sucks. <laughs> well, uh, I got something to say about this. I mean, I feel like everybody loves the football team, loves the games, but you know, our students just don't show up for some reason. Um, more parents show up than students, which doesn't make sense, but you know, it's all right. Um, but other than that, I mean, everybody loves it. I love it. Mm, it's a pretty good environment, except the students, you know, do better. Lock in. Is there any game day or season traditions that you guys have used throughout your all four years you guys have been here? Can't talk about them. <laughs> <laughs> nah, we can't. We got traditions. We just don't talk about them. We got tra- we got traditions that have been around here since the sixties. We just, no one talks about them, but they they exist. Yeah, they exist. No need to know about them. Secrets. You play football, you find out what the traditions are. Yeah. Okay, so we're now here with our head coach. Do you want to introduce yourself? Uh, hello. How are you, Coach <laughs> Cyril Chan? Nice to so meet you. Much. Okay, so Good did you have any expectations this season? Uh, yeah, so we knew that we ended last year pretty well, and we're going into this off season thinking we were going to be pretty good. So yeah, we worked our butt off, and you know, led into a pretty good year. Did the team surprise you? I wouldn't say they surprised me. Um, I think they surprised a lot of other people, but they didn't surprise anybody in this room. Um, <clears throat> and I just think hard work and dedication sort of paid off. So, what elements of football here at Western makes you excited to practice and get to work every day? Uh, I just think our kids are really dedicated to football. Our community is really dedicated to football, and uh, they want to win. Yeah. So you're losing this group of key seniors. How's it going to work out for you next season? Well, we return a lot of other kids. Um, we had a small senior class, and obviously we're all really successful kids. Um, but we had a lot of juniors and sophomores that contributed as well, so we think we're going to be pretty good. Yeah. Thank you guys for being here today, and congrats on a great season. Good luck to you guys and the rest of the team. Uh, to keep up with Wall Lake Western football team in their season next year, you can follow their Twitter page at WLWestern underscore FB and the Warrior Nation Instagram page at WWWarriorNation. We'll see you next time on Revenge Tour.